and maybe some heated blankets. Clay. Yeah, you're definitely going to need all of that tonight because temperatures just did not budge at all on this mid March Sunday. Temperatures only topped out right around 40, 41 degrees here in Chattanooga, which is about 25 degrees below normal for this time of the year. And that cold air just sitting over the Tennessee Valley. And as we take a look at those local temperatures again, some areas didn't even get above 39 degrees today, staying in the 30s all day long, and we're only a couple of weeks away from April now, so this is some pretty significant cold for this time of the year. 36 is the current temperature in Murphy, 30 in Altamont. So some areas along the Cumberland Plateau not only had a few snow flurries earlier, but didn't even rise above 32 degrees below freezing all day long. And when you add in those winds out of the north, still feels like 31 in Athens, 29 in Blue Ridge and 22 in Altamont. So if you're going to be out and about this Sunday, layer up because temperatures drop quickly after sunset back below freezing by 11 PM and then overnight it's going to be another hard freeze. We're going to wake up to the low to mid 20s here across the Tennessee Valley with wind chills in the teens as we go into your Monday morning. But here's a look at your sky watcher reports again. Highs not very impressive. It was a very cold cold day. Johnny Ringgold had 40. Gwen atop Lookout Mountain 37. 42 was the high in Cleveland. 37 in Dunlap. Dan and Dayton had 39. Dave and Turtletown only hit 38 degrees. And Danelle and Chatsworth actually managed 47. So not a terrible day down in North Georgia, but still it was quite chilly, but we're not tracking any precipitation. Again, we had some morning flurries along the Cumberland Plateau and the Tennessee North Carolina line. Those have for the most part wrapped up and we're just going to be dealing with some clear skies tonight, which will help temperatures drop very quickly. Again, it is going to be another very cold night, so bring in those pets. Make sure to wrap your pipes, and you might want to leave a faucet dripping before going to bed because we are going to have another hard freeze here area-wide. This is Monday, though. Again, first day of spring. We're going to have some sunshine. Temperatures are in the mid 50s, so we're starting to turn a corner there. And then going into Monday night, it is going to be cold with below freezing temperatures through Tuesday morning. But after that, we're really going to start to accelerate that warming trend. By Wednesday, temperatures back in the mid 60s, maybe a few showers around early, just a small chance for now. But it does look like we will have at least a shower or two possible north of the Tennessee state line on Wednesday. Better chance of rain comes in Friday evening as a cold front approaches. So overall, again, it looks like we're going to stay dry through at least Wednesday and even then rain chances aren't looking all that great and then notice that front come through on Friday and early Saturday. That's when we're going to have the potential for some accumulating rainfall here across the Tennessee Valley. But again, after the next couple of mornings, those temperatures really start to rise. And again, this is your morning temperatures back above average by the end of the week. That's going to be the trend for the East Coast towards the end of March. So it is going to feel a lot more like spring, which is very fitting because tomorrow at 524 East Eastern Daylight Time, the spring equinox will usher in the first day of spring. But again, we're still going to be dealing with those cold temperatures tonight. A freeze warning in effect. Many of us dropping back into the low to mid 20s. And then we start that warming trend approaching 80 degrees Thursday into Friday.